We worked with a national polling firm, Harris Interactive, to conduct a survey of asthma and allergy patients across the country to determine their preferences about buying medications that help them to manage their diseases. One of the key findings is that two-thirds of those we surveyed would oppose the idea of having to get a doctor's prescription before they can purchase over-the-counter medications to help them manage their symptoms. If these patients have to get a doctor's prescription in order to get these medications just to treat their common symptoms, it would amplify the burden that they're already feeling. Many are telling us that they spend days waiting to get um, an appointment just to get in and see the doctor. They're spending you know, two and three hours just waiting in the doctor's office. That's time they're missing from work. And during the time that they're waiting for an appointment, this is time when they're not getting relief. And again, that relief is available over the counter now. If they have to get a prescription, it's going to add to their burden of cost and inconvenience. Patients that we surveyed are already reporting that they face significant burdens when it comes to getting their medications. And these burdens are top of mind for them, and they include cost and convenience. Pseudoephedrine is the only over-the-counter decongestant that's available in formulations that last 12 hours and 24 hours. For those who are trying to get through a day, uh, and a night and get a good night's sleep so they can be ready for work and school in the morning. It is the best medication available over the counter. If you want to get more information, you can go to our website, which is aafa.org backslash PSE. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation was founded in 1953, 60 years ago by the medical specialists who treat asthma and allergies in the United States. And it was founded to give patients a voice to represent the interest of over 60 million Americans who suffer from asthma and allergies in the United States. Interestingly, we conduct an allergy capital survey to show where allergies are most burdensome for people across the United States. And the number one allergy capital was in the state of Kentucky, and it was Louisville. It ranked number one. And Louisville and, and Kentucky cities have consistently ranked high in our survey. 59% of those we surveyed in Kentucky opposed uh, making pseudoephedrine over the counter prescription only. We conduct an annual survey to see which cities across the United States rank highest and as most burdensome for people who have allergies. And Kansas City and St. Louis in the state of Missouri consistently rank among our top cities for most burdensome. Sixty percent of those we surveyed in the state of Missouri opposed the idea of making um, pseudoephedrine containing medications prescription only. Every year we conduct a survey called Allergy Capitals that ranks the burden that allergy symptoms play on people across the United States. And Tulsa and Oklahoma City ranked within the top 20 of the 100 cities that we surveyed last year. 62% of those we surveyed in Oklahoma said that they oppose the idea of having to get a doctor's prescription before they can get over-the-counter um, pseudoephedrine-containing medications. We conduct an annual survey uh, of allergy capitals across the nation, and this is the one that cities don't want to rank on top of because it assesses the burden that allergies play on the lives of um, individuals who suffer from them. And West Virginia's cities have consistently ranked um, high in those surveys, including last year. Fifty-four percent of the, those we surveyed who are from West Virginia 
oppose the idea of a law that forces them to get a prescription before they can get over-the-counter medications that contain pseudoephedrine.